Hello, Remix 17. Welcome to this tutorial on Two Rivers. But hate can't be the face of the American. A report on Catholic Native American culture and ministry. And so friends, as we've done in other tutorials, We'll go through and unpack this document and then give you a little bit of structure and insights into its content. So let's dive in. If you remember from last semester and the first unit here, that we will start with an unpacking of how God's divine revelation is given to us through this document. And so remember, there's three parts of that divine revelation. The first is scripture. The second then is tradition, as well as then the third being teaching. And so you can see in this document, there is no reference to scripture. Doesn't necessarily mean anything outside of that there's no touching on this part of divine revelation for this document. However, teaching and tradition, there are a number of different things. And so the first is the reference to the CARA study, the Center for Applied Research in the Apostolate from 2016, and that's out of Georgetown University. And so you'll see some good work that's being done there. So you think of the teaching aspect. And then tradition. And this document was written and chosen above one that was written, I think, about 10 years ago. And this one, because of these new saints that have come within the American Indian tradition. And so the first one, um, St. Gatali Gadali Dega Quita. Um, and so we might pronounce it as Kateri Tekakwita, um, but Gadali Dega Quita is the Mohawk pronunciation. And I've done my best to practice that and I still have a long way to go. Um, but you can go to the link here and get some uh, good details about her name. Um, and so I'd highly recommend that you, you dig into that a little bit, as well as the La Florida Martyrs and Nicholas Black Elk. And so um, the Martyrs and Nicholas ba Black Elk on their way to sainthood, um, as well as then Pope Francis plays a key role in this document. Some quotes and some things to get us started. I love this one, it happens on page one, primarily this report, so it gives us a little bit of purpose as to why this is written. This report is an accounting of the vibrancy and sacredness that constitutes Catholic faith and Native American cultures. A confluence of faith and culture is at the center of what it means to be both Native American and Catholic. Ministry to Catholic Native Americans, therefore, can be understood as two rivers that merge to make one. Hopefully you've watched the introductory framing video for this unit, and in there we talk about the fact that all of these documents will take on the characteristic or, or the element of the theme of both and, and so ministering for or to people as well as then ministering with. And I think that this idea, this confluence of faith and culture and this merging of two rivers to make one is a great way to understand the ministry and, and the approach that we need to have in working with our universal church. Another, I think, really important quote that comes at the beginning of this document is from Pope Francis, and this is from his message to the World Meeting of Popular Movements, and I believe this was from 2014. He says, let us say no to forms of colonialism, old and new. Let us say yes to the encounter between peoples and cultures. Blessed are the peacemakers. So in a sense, and I didn't say it before, but definitely a reference to the Beatitudes um, right there, but blessed are the peacemakers. Pope Francis continues, I would also say, and here I wish to be quite clear, as was St. John Paul II, I humbly ask forgiveness, not only for the offenses of the church herself, but also for crimes committed against native peoples during the so-called conquest of America. And so this document is written from a standpoint of seeking reconciliation, one that I believe is in a spirit of reciprocity, a spirit of saying and honoring the gifts of American Indians and, and those gifts and how they can help give life to the universal Catholic Church. 
And I think this quote talks about that pretty beautifully as well. One final quote before we talk a little bit more about the document. The task of these missionary disciples is to immerse themselves in the culture of the people and to borrow and incorporate the elements of the Native American narrative that are in tune with the gospel. Such elements as the Native American sense of restorative justice, family-centered spirituality, and a historical environmental reverence. And so the task of these missionary disciples, um, this document then talking about those that work for as well as with American Indians and saying that there needs to be this, again, confluence, right? This merging of two rivers and saying that there are so many beautiful gifts um, that incorporate the elements of Native American narrative as well as that are in tune with the gospel and some examples there, um, restorative justice, family-centered spirituality, and historical environmental reverence. So this <clears throat> document really has two different parts. And so the gifts that Native Americans bring to the Catholic Church is the first part. And those are listed out over to the right, inspiring holiness. And so this idea of Native American spirituality um, being connected to, as was mentioned on the, on the screen prior, connected to the environment. And that that's really a key component that that's a great springboard then to saying and, and working with Native Americans that are Catholic and, and having that be something that can be intertwined. Restorative justice. And I know that that's a, a key or that's a catchphrase, I think, in a, in a lot of schools. But in saying, what's the redemption that can happen as we work with people that have committed errors, that have done things that they need to, to do something or, or to have some healing occur in order to come back into full communion with the community. Family is also a really important gift that Native Americans bring to the Catholic Church. And this um, communal aspect, this social, this relationship, um, relational um, approach to living and, and to life, that there's an interconnectedness of people church life and in looking at <clears throat> once again the the beautiful um, ways that liturgy is presented through american indian culture and then evangelization and and really looking at once again this beautiful spirituality that merges two different parts so merging native american culture as well as then catholic culture and saying that that can do a lot of good to spread the good news to to others and even to those that aren't from this culture. And then the second part of this um, focuses on priorities and recommendations. And so you can see in this document, you can look at the number of American Indians in all the dioceses across the United States. And so you can do your best to, you could do a search, I'm sure, a, a, a search within the document to look for your diocese to see what's that population look like. Um, how big is it? And, and is there an opportunity for your school to do some outreach there? Um, but these priorities to strengthen the Native American Catholic education system. And so obviously we have a representative, so um, Chris Smith, um, working with and alongside um, the Lakota people in um, South Dakota. And so, um, but we need to do more to, to strengthen the Native American Catholic education system. So wonderful that we've had Chris, that we had Macaw, um, but to do more to offer vibrancy with the schools that are serving predominantly American Indians. Push for systemic change. The recommendation here being one that looks at policies. Um, we think of the definition of racism, that it's basically legalized discrimination. And so looking at what are those structures within our society that we need to attack, that we need to affect and upset, that wonderful quote from Pope St. Paul VI. And so looking at what are those aspects of American Indian culture that we need to push for systemic change. Develop ways to reach out to the greater Catholic community. So to look at using the gifts and the beautiful strengths of a Native American Catholic spirituality and, and using those to reach out to the greater Catholic community to have that impact our universal church. 
And then the evangelization of the Native American community and, and looking at ways that, again, this merging of Native American culture, Catholic culture, that that can have an effect on those that are from within that community that do not yet have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so those are the priorities and recommendations. In conclusion, so to, to wrap up for this tutorial, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. The good news of salvation is not bound by time or human structures. I'll just pause for a second and go back to that. The good news of salvation is not bound by time or human structures. Christ's gospel of love and redemption addressed to all people transcends national boundaries, cultural differences, and divisions among peoples. It cannot be considered foreign anywhere on earth, nor can it be considered identical with any particular culture or heritage. It is the common blessing of all. So if you remember from that introductory video, when we talked about the missionary thrust and we talked about Christ being that drop in the body of water that came at a point in time and that is emanating outward from that singular point, that singular drop, and how then we are called to move out, to emanate out to all people with this good news. I think this is a great quote that, that summarizes that idea, this statement from the U.S. Catholic Bishops on American Indians um, back in 1977. So friends, thank you for all of your hard work. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us from all of us here underneath Mother Mary, the Golden Dome. Goodbye, God bless, and go Irish. Mother and wife. I've been scared of that thought too. In a world of struggle, what are we gonna do? I hear you every day saying it's gonna be okay. But hate can't be the face of the American dream.